Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. I love filming pantry videos. I have done so many on my channel and I finally get to show you the pantry in the new place. are my best tips and tricks for getting your pantry organized, but also helping it stay organized. If you saw my recent Dollar Tree haul, you know how I'm loving the office supplies in the pantry. I have paper trays to keep all of our canned goods and paper files to keep our cans and jellies and dressings. And the labels look really expensive, but all they are is binder labels from the Dollar Tree. One dollar and you get 18. And because the sticky on the back doesn't work really well on plastic, I use these mounting squares, also from the Dollar Tree. I put three on the back and it was really cheap. Whatever the shape of your pantry is, work with the space. I had a bunch of funny corners, so I maximized them with Lazy Susans. It's perfect for all of our peanut butters, essential oils and health products, and corner spaces also work great for those less frequently accessed items. Whenever you organize the top of your pantry, you only wanna have light things that are easy to access and put away, because that area tends to get really messy and you don't want those things falling on you. I've got lots of extra party supplies and I use some stacking bins I already had for napkins, silverware, and cups. I also added some wire bins for just a few dollars and they're perfect for our breads, nuts, and any dried fruit. Something that's really helped our family is to create bins based on the type of food that you eat. I have bins for Owen and his baby food and I even have designated snack bins. We take all of those out of the boxes. If you are not doing that, absolutely do it. It's gonna save you so much room and make it really easy to access things, especially when you're making lunch in the morning. Always have an overflow section because if you're like me, extra items that you bought on sale, you have a place to put them. We take some items out of their boxes like cereals, nuts, and berries, but snack foods and pasta, I always leave in their containers. Find a system that works for your family, not one that's gonna look like Pinterest and create more work. That's the balance that's worked for us. We have a bin just for open bags of items that we're eating and another container for all of the sealed items we haven't gotten to yet. I love the dollar store trash cans for separating our potatoes and onions. They should never be stored together and it's perfect for the floor of the pantry. And don't discount thrifting. I found a wire bin on casters for just a few dollars and it's perfect for storing water bottles. The only thing I recommend investing in is a can organizer. You can get these from between 10 and $20. If you have a small space, it's perfect for on the floor. It keeps all of your cans ordered by date and really maximizes the space. Also get creative if not everything is fitting in your pantry. I took that same wire shelving that was in the pantry and stuck it inside of our cabinet and it's perfect for keeping our wax paper, saran wrap, aluminum foil, and behind it is the perfect spot for organizing the extras. Who says all of your pantry has to be in one place? Make your kitchen work for you. I actually keep our flowers and other baking supplies in our cabinet drawers, which you could very easily put those in a pantry. And you guys, they were free. Free as in no money. I didn't have to spend a cent. They are old pretzel containers and I stuck Dollar Tree labels on them. It looks great and it was so inexpensive. Those are my tips for organizing the pantry and I would love to hear yours. So many of you have been tagging me in photos on Instagram and Facebook, so definitely keep doing that. I love seeing your organized spaces. And if you're brand new here, don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every week to help you live organized and on a budget. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Go Owen, go Owen, go, go, go Owen. Good job.